Hi everybody, my name is Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to diamond paint. Diamond painting is fun, it's easy, it's satisfying, and it's really quick. So I am working with a company called Outdoor Tide. They're a website, outdoortide.com. They specialize in diamond painting and cross-stitch products. So they let me pick out a few products on their website. I'm gonna show you what I picked out, give you the pricing, and then I'm gonna do a demonstration to show you just how easy diamond painting is. So you're gonna get everything in a very simple packaging, uh, plastic bag. My two packages were packed just like this. Now, did I mention that their pricing is very cheap? This diamond painting set costs $5.60 just for this one. Let me show you what it is. So this is a Halloween themed um, kind of unboxing because I love Halloween and um, even though I'm spending my Halloween in a retirement community, where I'll probably get zero trick-or-treaters. Uh, I'm preparing for next year when I'm back in my house. So this is a really cute cat with the hat and the pumpkins. You're going to get all the beads and everything in here and your little set here. On the um, painting itself is your key code. So for this, for instance, this project contains 22 different colors of beads. And you're going to look for the alphabetical number here. So if I was going to do right here, it's an E. I go to bag four and get the, the little diamond studs for out of bag four to place in section E. Very simple. That's the first project. The second project, which I've already been working on just for one day, this is also in their Halloween series, and I'm getting the pricing. It's $5.89 for this one. Isn't she cool? And they had all different types of like scary gothic ladies, etc. This comes with 23 different colors. The code's right here. And I'll show you what I did just yesterday. So with diamond painting, you just stick the little studs onto the corresponding uh, spot. See? very sticky. Nothing's going to come off. And when I finish this entire project, I might mod podge it because I want to frame this one because I think it's so adorable. So yesterday I worked on these areas. Uh, it was like a lot of like bag, like here, number two, E. I took out the diamond studs from E. The reds, the zeros, I took out from bag 12 to correspond with these little red dots. Extremely easy. All the um, beads are in here. My 23 separate baggies. And I'll just show you, everything is numbered. So this would be number seven. And I would number seven on here would be D. And you just take the number seven little diamond stuff into the places that say D. How easy is that? What I like about diamond painting it is fast, it is easy, and if you have a child that you want to do this, I think a very mature five-year-old, six-year-old could do this with instruction and by themselves. I probably wouldn't start them on a big one like this. I would start them on a smaller project, but it is very appropriate for younger kids as well as old ladies like myself. So I do have 5% off. I think it's Jane 5 off. I'll leave the link here. I'll leave the link down below. I'll leave the link to these projects. 
And let me transition to show you how to do diamond painting. It is so easy. Bing, 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 boom, you're done. <laughs> now, I am using what they supplied here, which is a little pointer thingy. I have some bling pens, they're in storage right now, but you can order different pens. You just, what you do is you take a little bit of this wax, put it on the tip, poke it into the curved part of the diamond and po poke and point, poke in place, poke in place. So simple. So let me transition over um, just to show you how to do it. So easy. And if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. And hey, give this girl a like and a subscribe. I would so love this support from you all. It keeps me going to produce videos for this channel. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye. So I've been working on this diamond painting for a few hours. I got a bunch of sections done. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. I am working on section A, and from the key code here, section A is uh, bag 13. So all you do is just look at the bag, and um, here's bag 13 right here. I already poured the little diamonds into the bag. The best way to get the little diamond facing up is just to shimmy the little tray around, and most of the beads will face up. I take the little tool, little um, dabber tool, and it already has a little bit of the pink wax in it. And I just go one by one and put it in the spots. It is that easy. Let me show you really quickly. And I just put it over all the areas that have an A. Now I always do individual diamonds. That's just easy for me they do make little sticks where you could like pick up a whole row of diamonds i have never done that i just do one by one to me they it's easier that way it sticks to the little dabby thing and i just place it on the pitcher the pitcher itself has a little uh, sticky adhesive on there so everything sticks you can do the section any way you choose. Sometimes I go straight across, sometimes I go up and down. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. But what I can tell you is this is one of the easiest crafts I've ever done. And if you're looking for a fun craft, especially for the holidays, this is it. If you're looking for a great gift, especially for, you know, a young person, I. I would even think a mature enough five or six year old could do this. Maybe with a little assistance. And it would help them, you know, with their letters or numbers, depending on the key code, their colors. And you know, can always start them off on a smaller project, not one as big as this one, because this one has 23 different colors. And once you're finished with your section, and you don't want to work in it anymore. You just put the plastic back over it because you want to protect the other sticky areas. I always just go like this and just push everything down. And when I finish the entire project, I will probably um, do a little bit of clear Mod Podge over it. But they stick. Nothing is leaving this project. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. I will put my discount code and the website link down in the description box. Let me know if you have any questions. And thanks for joining me today. I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.